Sure. So, um, okay, so guys, you're welcome once again. So, um, very quick one. So, I have, um, I have another project I want to be working on. So, here in um, Anambra states. So, if you are, if you are in Nigeria, you definitely be familiar with that. So, we have another project in Anambra states. All car to be precise. Yeah, that is, that is, that is the, the capital. So, all car. So. And, and and it's going to be a very very nice one because um i just have to move down here because the because of the design and how how technical the project is so in terms of the the, the aesthetics as well the design of the building so so that's why i want to take you guys through so i, I, I want to take you guys through a lot so that we can you can also learn from here as well because every project uh comes with their own technicalities so they have their own um, areas where the technical aspect comes in so that's why there's always one or two things that you can learn from every project so that's why i don't take it for granted so quick one let me just show you around how the the terrain of the site looks like so let me just show you guys around so that you can see so before i i i i moved on to the next thing though i've done i've done some of some of the 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 setting out so i want to continue today so let me just show you guys around let me show you uh, how the site looks like okay so guys this this is the this is the site these are our, these are the gates this is the main entrance so you can see so we've done we've done some demolitions so we are going to pack out all these rubbles but this, this is the profile for the building so i've done some setting out so i've done some setting out so you can see i've done some setting out so i just want to continue with that today so i just think i should do something so that you guys can also see maybe most of you that have, have not been with me from the beginning and you are just coming in you're just subscribing so that they can also follow up on that okay guys so let's quickly go into that let's quickly go into that and one of the reasons why i said you you you're going to learn a lot is that uh there are a lot of curves there are a lot of curves on the perimeter of the building i have like four of it on the four corner of the building there are curves on it so that's it guys so just let's quickly go into what i have for you guys today so that we can we can mash up and and, and and looking at the weather condition i need to make it snappy as as quick as possible okay so guys let's go into that so i want to basically what i want to do today is setting out so now i'll be using total station Lake car for that i'll be using Lake car so just just follow up with me let me quickly show you what i have for you today okay so guys let's quickly go into that so let's quickly go into that Okay, so for some of you that have been that have watched the, the tutorial I did on tripod, so I said it's that if you are going to set a tripod for level instruments. So make sure that the top of the tripod is is um, approximately the top of your the top of your nose. Let it be parallel to your nose, so it's fine like that. But if you are using it for total station, make sure that you manage your your chin. Let it be parallel to your chin, so it's it's more better that way. So after that, you you lock it, lock the screw. Make sure you lock the screw. So once you lock the screw, open it up. Open it up. So I always say that once I open my tripod up, I make sure that it's not too wide, so that it will, it will give me room for to move around it for flexibility. But once you open it up too wide, you won't be able to move around the tripod. But I always make sure that it's not too wide. Then I'll go back and look at the top. I'll look at it from different areas. Look at it from different areas to make sure that at least. The top of the tripod is approximately leveled. It will not be perfect anyway, but at least to some extent, make sure that it's perfect. It's, it's a bit leveled, and you match it to the ground. 
match it to the ground. So it's because I have a solid ground here, that's why it's not going down. But if it's a place that is maybe a sandy soil, make sure that you match it to the soil very well to make it more firm. So after this, I'll bring my tripod and place it on it. Okay. So place your um, total station on it. When you're done with that, make sure you, you lock it to the screw. Make sure it is well locked. So after that, then you check your level, you bring it down. Okay, so yeah, bring it to this side. So with your total station, I have two levels. So this is the first one here. So after that, I have another one at the top which is this so i'm going to use the two level but if you are going to use your first um your first bubble make sure that you use your tripod to adjust that to make it there come closer so i'm going to use the tripod to make sure that yes to adjust the first one So I'm using my tripod to do that one first to make sure that yes, it's it's approximately leveled. Okay, so I think I'm fine like this. So after that, you can now hone the total station. So after running the total station, then it will display something like this. That's how Leica is being formatted. That's how they designed it. Once you run your Leica, so it's going to display something like this for you. So this one, this image now means that you can use this to set the second full screw. So you can use this to set the second full screw. So what you just need is, so you are going to use this first two foot screw. You adjust it. Once you adjust it, it's going to... It's going to adjust itself coming to the center so if you look at this arrow look at the second arrow this arrow will show you the direction where you are going to turn your full screw that means this first one here is going to come to this side this second one too will come into this side so you just adjust it slowly gently make sure you are not too fast on it and you are not too hard very soft so you can see that i have something like this so it's now showing me that the three has been checked but if you look at this, this one is not perfectly at the right position. So I'll just go to the last foot screw. Just be very soft on it. So it remain a little bit. So if you look at it now, everything is perfect. So after this, if you just go to the top bubble, you see that it is perfectly at the center. So once you check, everything will be intact. So just press OK. So now let's go into what I want to do today. So... We'll go to manage after you confirm your temporary adjustment you are done with that so go to manage because i want to do certain out today so you go to manage so from the manage folder we are going to create the the the, the, the folder for this site so go to f1 which is job for f1 you see job f2 fixed points f3 measurements then f4 code so all these buttons are meant for this function so i need job so i'll just press f1 so once you press F1, it's going to display something like this for you. So it's going to display something like this for you. So I've already created the folder. So I have SID, which is the name of the, 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 the site, the name of the folder, then operator. If you like to put the name, you can put it. It's going to fix the date and the time automatically by itself. So I press OK. But if it is a new folder, just press new. F3 is for new. So you press new and you're going to create a new folder for, for your job. But once the folder is already there, just click OK. So job sets. So now I'll go back, I'll press escape. So now you now go to program. Once you've created your folder, you press escape, go outside and you go to program, press enter. Once you press enter, it's going to display the same function. F1 for station setup, F2 for surveying, F3 for stakeout, then F4 for reference elements. 
but we want to do our station setup first. We want to do our orientation. So I'll press F1. So it says F1 set job, F2 set accuracy limit, F4 start. So I'll just go to F4. You press F4 for start. So now the instrument is asking me what type of surveying method that I want to use. There are so many methods that you can use. This is the section. We have height transfer. We have orientation with angle. We have orientation with coordinates. So it depends on the one you want to use, but basically in construction, what surveyors use, the method we use is a resection. So I'll go with resection. I don't need, resection is fine. ST1 is fine. 1.7. I don't really need height, so I will ignore the height here. So I'll press OK. Once I press OK, so he's asking me that the target point entry. So I should put the point ID for my first point. You know what resection means is you are going to set on unknown point. You will set your instrument where there is no point at all. You can set your instrument anywhere, then you'll be able to backside to do your integer with other two known coordinates. Those two known coordinates must be visible, they must be established on site, and you have their value. So that is what um, uh, resection means. You set on unknown points and you do your orientation with two other known points. So let's quickly go into that. So I'm going to call out my first point that I want to use as my orientation. So I've already saved it on the instrument. So I'll go to list. Once I press list, so I have TBM1 and TBM2. I think I also have another one. I have TBM1, TBM2. So I have wall 1 and wall 3. So I established this wall 1 and wall 3 sometimes ago. Like, I think it was yesterday or day before yesterday. So I, I can use wall 1, wall 3, then TBM1 and TBM2. Those are the four controls that I have on this side. So let me use, I want to use wall 1 and wall 3 for my orientation. And if it is not, let me go ahead, press escape. So if, it is, if you don't have the coordinate, the station on your instrument, you can press EHN. It means Eastern, Northern and height. That means you will input a new one. That means if you already have it with you. But once it is saved on the instrument, just go to list. Then you go to the control you want to use first. I'm using wall one first. So I'll press OK. So once I press OK, I'll now turn my instrument to the direction where I'm having the first control. Okay, I'll go to the first one. Make sure that you check your bubble. So I'm having my first control on this side. So it's already going there. So it's at the control points. So that's where I'm having my first control points. So I'm going to observe him now. I'm going to observe him from here. So I'm going to observe him. So I've already bisect in. Let me just show you guys. So you can see. So you can see that he's there. So I will press all. I press all. So I've done that. So the instrument is saying F1 for measure more points. So you know I still need. You, so you severe must use at least two known points. That's the, that's the minimum. It must at least be two. So I'm going to press F1 for measure more points. Uche! So I'll press F1. So for measure more points, so I'll go to list again. So, but if I don't have the data on my on, on my instrument, that means I have to press EH and that is Eastern Northern and Height. But I already have it saved on the total station. So I will just go to list, then call out the second. So which is WF3. So I'll press OK. So then I'll now bisect the second point as well. So I think it's already at the second point. So let me bisect the second point. Okay, so let me show you guys the second point. 
So you can see the second point. So I'll press all again. All. So you can see what we have. So I have seven mm. That's the accuracy in position. That is approximately eight mm. So if I want to compute it, I'll press F4. But if I'm not going to accept this eight mm, so I, I can just add one more point to hit just to minimize the, the error I'm having. So I can press F1 to measure more points or I press F4. Once, since I'm okay with this 8 mm, so I will just press F4 to compute so that the instrument will accept the difference that I'm having. But since I'm just, I'm doing setting out for, for excavation, so the, the precision is not, I don't really have to consider on the, on the precision because it's just for excavation. So I have enough space that I've extended with it. All right, come over. So I'll press F4 to compute F4. So it's showing me the, the this data I'm having now, this X and Y, this is thing and nothing I'm having now is where the instrument is now. So the instrument has generated a new coordinate for itself for this right position that I'm setting my instrument. So if I want to write it down, fine. And if I don't need it, I'll just ignore it. So I'll press set to station orientation states. So that's it. So we are good with that. So I've done my orientation like that so I can continue with my task. So now I'm having F1 for station setup, F2 for surveying, F3 for stakeout, and F4 for reference element. So I want to do setting out, which is the same thing as stakeout. And there are some instruments as well that they used to, they, they have their own brand. They have the name that, they have a specific name for each task. So in some instruments, it might be layout. In some instruments, it might be setting out or whatever. But I'm here. I'm I'm having the same. I'm having stakeout, which is also the same thing as layout. So I'll press F3. So I'll press F4 to start. So once you press F4, now you now start to input the coordinates. So you go to, you go to EHN, Eastern, Northern, and Heights to input the coordinates. But if you already have it, that means you have to go to the folder and call it out. So I want to input the coordinate myself now. So I'll press ehn so i'll put the coordinate that i want to set out on it so once you put your coordinate it's going to direct you to where the point is okay so guys i've input the coordinates this is the coordinate that i want to set out so that's the eastern and northern once you input it press ok that means the same point already exists. Are you sure you want to overwrite the data? Yes, I want to overwrite. So the code that I used to save, that I used to input this data, is saying that it already exists, but let me just overwrite. So I'll press yes. So now it's saying, so if you look at this, so I'm having horizontal direction. So you can see the HZ. So it's saying that I need to turn my instrument to my right side with this degree. So I'll keep turning it. I'll keep turning it till I get to zero, zero. That degree must be turned to zero, zero. So I have to keep turning it until I get to zero, zero. I have to keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. I have to keep turning till I get to zero, zero. So once I'm closer, so I can now use my slow motion screw, which is this, my horizontal slow motion screw. This is my horizontal slow motion screw. And this is my vertical slow motion screw. That is how Leica designed their home brand. So today, your vertical slow motion screw will be on the left. Why your horizontal slow motion screw will be on the right. So once you are closer like that, you don't have to be turning in the instrument itself. So you can use the slow motion screw so that you will be you will not be too fast on it. So I keep turning, I keep turning till I get to zero zero. Till I get to zero zero. Okay, which area? This direction. So I keep turning it till I get to zero zero. So I have something that is very, very close, at least to the last seconds. So with the how you can see, so with this I'm fine. So once I measure, so this arrow that is showing up is going to that's where that's the distance. But once I measure now, it's going to adjust the distance to where the position will be. Yeah, hey, small to this side. Go, go, go. Okay, very small back. Small like this. Small. Your left, small. Very small. Okay, check your bubble now. So it's closed. Let me show you guys before I measure.
so you can see you can see there so let me just show you before i measure so once it's there so i'll just press i'll look for distance so i'll press distance so you can see that the 6.9 has changed to 6.7 and the arrow has faced down that means the tracking rod the, the guy with the prism needs to come closer oh yeah six meter to me six meter to me so it's going to count to six meter to my side because the arrow is showing down so i need to bring the distance towards the instrument so but if the arrow is showing up that means the person needs to go far away okay so i think it's closer so let me direct him back to oh yeah this side Go, go, go. Go. Okay. Yeah, come back. Small. Small like this. Small. Small. Too much. This side. Okay, check your bubble now. So I'll turn the full screw. Make sure that my cross A is at the center. Check your bubble. So let me show you guys again. So you can see that it's at the center. So I'll measure, I'll press distance again to look at. I'm having 6.79. So let me press this distance again. Check your bubble well. So I'm having 0 0.5 now. You can see from 6.7 to 0 0.5. So two foot to me. Two foot to me. Okay, so I will check him again. So let me check him again. Press distance. So I'm having 0 0.4. So that's it, guys. Till you get to the the, 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 the the exact distance that I want. So I need 4 cm to my side, which is the same thing as 40 mm. They are very small. See, very small to me. Four, like 4 cm. Small. Okay. So I'll measure again. So since it's just, I told you guys, since it's setting out for excavation, so the, the precision is not really, really required. So I can just, so I can use that point since I'm having four cm. Oh yeah, put it there. So that's it, guys. But if you are setting on, 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 if you are setting the main point itself, so you have to be more precise. You have to be very, very precise. Even this, when it comes to setting my columns on, on the blinding on any concrete, so I make sure that I'm within, from within zero to. 5 mm thereabouts so i make sure that it doesn't exceed 4 to 5 mm so that's it guys so i hope you you've learned one or two things that's how to use total station um uh, for that laker brand for whatever you want to do so that's it guys so i'll see you some other time so make sure you drop any call any question you have in the comment section so that i can always update myself on it if there's anything i need to adjust on if there's any Thing that you want me to do to, just to make sure that you guys keep learning so make sure you drop it in the comment section and i'll try as much as possible to attend to all those questions so that's it guys thank you and, and have a wonderful time